Okay, so uh, here's finger picking lesson number two. In the first finger picking lesson, uh, we talked about uh, some things that are going to help us develop a good right hand technique. We talked about this nice relax. This is a good thing to do when you're in the waiting room, you know, waiting for a meeting or an appointment. Just get used to how your hand works. Nice straight wrist, open. And close your fingers gently. See where your thumb wants to go? That's where they go naturally when we're um, finger picking. Okay. Uh, so last time we started with these three strings. The advantage of starting with these three strings is it's easier to get your thumb moving out here in front of your fingers instead of the supposable thumb thing where the thumb gets in the way of the fingers when you're, you know, get busy. Um, do a good technique. <sighs> Sorry, a spider just landed on me. That was weird. That kind of thing, you know, you get going quickly and you don't want your thumb getting in the way of your fingers. So this, so make sure this is easy before you move on get the hang of your thumb moving this way and then when you feel comfortable like that's pretty easy then you can and you can definitely do both um, check your technique by doing this and then um, you could do this way too so so now uh, notice how my thumb is on the sixth string it's pointing toward the head of the guitar and my fingers are pointing a different direction we're not going like this. So if you have trouble with your thumb getting in the way of your fingers, uh, get your fingers. This is not how you want to be. This is just kind of, if, if you're having trouble with your thumb being, seems like it's too close to your fingers, slide your thumb that way, slide your fingers that way. Okay. So the thumb, spend a little time doing that. And let your fingers come up underneath your hand. That, if this is not easy, spend some time just doing that. Know that this is an E minor chord. So you could play this. Oh, you know, I should say this. Notice I do not have a finger planted. Um, I need to tell you, uh, I played for many years with a finger planted. And at, at first blush, it makes sense that this would help you know where you are, but it's so <laughs> not necessary and it creates extra tension. I played with like this for many years and then when I began classical guitar lessons, that is the first thing my teacher told me. Excuse me. <clears throat> and he said, just stop it and let your hand float. And at first it felt a little funny, but it just took a week or two till I was used to it. Um, if my thumb is here, that's kind of like having a finger planted. If my thumb's touching this string, these fingers know where these strings are. And if these fingers are touching this string, then my thumb knows where these. So um, really this is psychologically comforting maybe, but um, it creates added tension and it makes your fingers less able to go where they need to go and do what you want, you know, this free motion. So, here we are again. Thumb on the sixth string, pointer on the third, top finger on the second, ring finger on the first. So get used to that. Remember, this is an E minor chord. My left hand's not doing anything. So uh, I want to show you something fun to go with this because it's fun if we can actually feel musical. If you have a partner or if you want to record yourself playing these notes, if you play first string open and then you play the first string second fret and then I'm going to show you an E minor scale. Okay, I don't want to tell you what notes they are because you don't need to know. This is a pattern that you can use all over the place and it's fun. So. Um, I didn't make a chart, just, just follow along, come back and try again if you need to, but first string open, then second fret, then third fret. We can write this down, open, second, third, 
Or you could put stickers. Open. Put a sticker here and a sticker here. A sticker here. So it's fifth fret, seventh fret, then just one half fret higher. So open, one fret higher, skip a fret, fifth fret, seventh fret, and now two whole steps. So you can play around. Um, Um, this famous song that uses so you can play around with us you could uh, record yourself going uh, like that and you could also just play around with those notes so if you have a partner one of you could play lead and the other one could be practicing your um, That would be a next step. And, and take some time to uh, feel what this hand feels like. Try to go as slow as you need to, to feel relaxed. Feel relaxed often. And it will become a habit. Now, uh, then a good next step would be thumb, third string, second string, string and then second string and then third you could record yourself doing this or have a friend do this and you could play actually that would be a good next step too um, you could do that pattern um, on the easy easier pattern just depends on what's easy and what's challenging. Don't give yourself too much of a challenge too soon. It's good to have things that are easy to work on and it's good to have things that are a challenge also. So, um, you know, do like for your warm-ups and your exercises, things that are easy and focus on one thing and progress incrementally, develop good technique, to relax often. And then after you're warmed up and you've spent time with your exercises, know that all those things are just going to make it easier when you learn something new that is musical. It's going to make it easier to um, pick it up and your fingers will obey you more readily and make the music. Um, and then part of your practice, you know, maybe try uh, putting it together like that with the, you know, the pattern. And try to be nice to yourself when you when you hit a note that you don't. Sometimes if you just hit it again, then it kind of resolves into something that sounds cool. And that's part of learning is when you hit the notes that uh, there's there's no such thing as a wrong note. That they're just sounds, and some of them you'll find you like them, and everything you do stays in your brain and it's part of your development so it's really good to poke around and play notes and you'll learn which ones you like and which ones you don't so let's work on that for a while until uh, these fingers start to obey you more and in the next lesson we'll take a step a little bit farther <laughs>